All right, so I got this battery powered soldering iron and micro center. It is the Pros Kit SIB166. And that's the box. And here's another close up. You can see it focus. I don't know. If you see that? The tip is removable, you could unscrew that and you could get the tip out and you could replace it. There's the button. And uh, it has a charger. The it's a, it's a one unit charger. It's a wireless charger. So when you stick it in here, it charges. So you stick this in here, it charges, and it comes with a tip cleaner. You stick this in here, the tip cleaner, and uh, it, it's also acts as a stand for the charger for the for the soldering iron, uh, the soldering iron stand. And to charge it, you gotta you gotta. It comes with a micro USB plug here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, that plugs into a standard USB to charge the thing. And again, it, it charges magnetically, so it's wireless charging. But you can't charge your phone with this, probably not. I think it's just compatible with just the solid iron, and that's it. Now the iron, the iron uh, uses six watts. Uh, it heats up to 500C and it, uh, it it runs for about one and a half hours. You can use this, you can solder for about one and a half hours. Uh, that is when you push the button, you can hold the button down and solder. Each time you solder, it's, uh, you, know, you can use it for about an hour and a half. Uh, an hour and a half of power drain. In other words, you can drain the battery for an hour and a half. So, oh, and uh, it comes with this kind of battery here. And it's a pretty easy to remove the battery. All you gotta do is twist it. And it, it, there's a little bit of resistance here, because, uh, and, uh, and it, it comes with the battery separate inside the box, but not installed. It comes with the battery, but not installed. So you gotta install it. So that's that's uh, it's got a little spring here, and the inside is just a uh, just a wire. It's just a copper, uh, flat piece of copper there. There, inside. Okay, so you put the battery in. That's all you can do is put the battery in and uh, twist it. There's a connector here. You can see, just a piece of copper here and a piece of copper in there that you have to align when you. Put it in. When you push the power, when you push the button, uh, the blue light here shows. This one is not a blue light. This one is just a just a you know light conducted through the back. So it's only this one that's lit. This one just looks like it's lit, but it's not. And uh, oh, the battery type—it's—it's uh, it's an 18650 battery, the same that people use for vaping. Same kind of battery used for vaping, and the same kind of batteries you find in the cell phone—not cell phone. I mean, a, a laptop battery. The old type of laptop batteries, probably not today's laptops, because today's laptops are really skinny. But the or the uh, larger laptops use these batteries. This one is 18650 and it's 2.2 uh, uh, amp hours, 3.6 volts. 
These are very common. You can find them in vacuum cleaners and uh, old uh, portable equipment, mainly old laptops. Not sure they still use these in laptops, but uh, in the larger laptops, they may still use these. Obviously, in the thin laptops, you, they can't use these because these are too thick. And so, uh, uh, I guess I put it back. So let's heat up some solder. I got a piece of solder here already. A piece of solder stuck here. So let's see how long it takes to heat up uh, solder. It claims the the package claims that it heats up solder in 15 seconds. Somewhere here it says so. Somewhere here it says it's 15. Part of the manual tells you 15 seconds. But uh, yeah, they claim 15 seconds. So let's uh, let's, let's hold the button down. And uh, here's the solder. There's a you can see there's a tiny piece of solder there. Let's see when it melts. Hasn't melted yet. Okay, it just melted. So how long did that take? Okay, so it didn't take too long. Okay. Alright. So I guess we could solder some piece of wire and see how it works in practical terms. Um, one of the things that annoys me is that it doesn't stand on its own. The only way is to put it this way. But then it kind of rolls around. A little bit it rolls around a little bit, but the, sometimes you want to have it stand. It can stand. I found out that it can do that. What I gotta do is gotta take out the sticker. The sticker, you know, bumps up. So I guess if I remove that, see it comes off. It does come off. So once I remove that, it's flat. And now I could place it down like that. And I'm just gonna throw away the sticker. It's a nice sticker, I guess, trim it out, stick it somewhere, but then, yeah, it stands on its own. So, uh, yeah, it does stand. So let's go solder something. So I got my wire, copper wire here. And I got a little uh, helper here. A little helper and some solder. So I got my wire and my uh, vise here. And I'll just hold this button up for the required. 15 seconds and I guess I'll test it again on my uh, piece of solder here looks like it's it's melted the, the solder on the tip is melted but uh, it's taking a little bit of time to melt the solder that's on the aluminum foil all right, looks like it's ready, so let's solder something. See how well it was worth it, if you see that. It's kind of, it's not really that easy to melt. Not as good as a standard soldering iron, but Yeah, it does work. It takes a little while, but it does work. It takes a little bit of time to heat up the wire. But yeah, it, it does work. Yeah, I think I over-soldered that one. This one's a good solder, and this one I over-soldered a little. So let's take a look at the solder here. How's that look? Uh, I guess this one's a. Uh, can you see that? This one's a good solder. I'll have to see. 
But yeah, it's a good solder. And even the one that's even the one that it's over soldered seems to be okay. Oh, and you know, one of the things I noticed is that the collar here, the uh, screw on thing here, is cool to the touch. And the soldering iron, the, the heating element, is actually, you know, I could touch it. Actually, the whole thing becomes cool to the touch within like a minute, so. When it heats up, just the tip of it, just the very tip of it heats up and the rest of it just gradually heats up as a result of being contacted, in contact with the, the tip. The tip, when I solder it, I was able to melt solder on the, on the edge here too, but mostly on the tip, it, it sticks to the, to the very tip of it. But it doesn't stick too much from here to here and from here to near the tip. Mostly just this part that's soldered, that, that the solder sticks to. The rest of it does not stick to it. The solder did not stick to the rest of this stuff. It's not too bad. Uh, and uh, when you charge it, you know, you stick it in the device here and charge it the uh, light is red when it's charging and turns green when it stops charging it takes a few hours to charge and, uh, yeah this part is metal it's cold metal uh, this part is the rest of it is just plastic and this looks like some kind of brittle thing this is just uh, a metal you know metal wool that's it and this is rubber soft rubber this is also soft rubber soft rubber soft rubber hard rubber ABS plastic I mean so uh, so far I've, uh, I think it's pretty good it's pretty good solid iron for quick uh, you know soldering jobs portable like something you put in your pocket not pocket in your bag uh, use your standard lithium ion batteries that you can find at vape stores on Amazon eBay uh, you know, standard 18650 uh, lithium ion cells which are fat double A cells of course they're not double A cells cause, you know Voltage is uh, 3.6 volts. 2.2 amp hours. And, uh, you know, you get a good uh, battery at a vape store. Even if you don't vape, you can just go to a vape store and buy a lithium ion battery. Alright, uh, right, thanks for watching. Have a good day.